It's early morning. I look like I just rolled out of bed because I did. Um, well, y'all, so much is happening. Uh, last video, I announced we were moving to Mexico. This video, I have a change of plans. So we are still headed to Merida, Mexico, July 31st. But we have actually decided to take on... This dog's gonna come get me. <laughs> take on nomadic life um oof. we haven't done nomadic life for years but that is how we started our journey if you've been following us for a long time we started our journey of travel of living abroad with nomadic life with full-time travel no home base so if you watch the end i'll go over why we're choosing nomadic over actually moving abroad somewhere but basically i have about a month left of getting prepared to not have a home base, not have complete set plans. The only plans we have as of now is really these round trip tickets from Merida to Austin for six weeks. So we're gonna go to Merida, Mexico for six weeks. I've already secured our place, thank goodness. And then we're gonna fly back here because I am doing a lot of training and certification here in the US and Austin for the next few months. Um, so it's about bouncing like from one country back to the U.S. and all this stuff. But there's so much happening, so much change, so many transitions. I'm like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't go on walks and I'm like out this morning going on a walk, like needing fresh air. Um, because I'm not a big planner. I'm more spontaneous. I like to just book the tickets and go. But... Um, you can't really do that with the state of how travel is now. There's requirements for each country. You have to make sure you can even get in. You have to make sure you're not breaking any laws. Like there's so much involved. We here in Austin signed a year lease. We're breaking our lease and working with the owner, but there's no guarantee that, you know, they'll find another renter. We might be stuck paying rent for a house we're not in. Um, I bought a vehicle here, so I have to decide if I want to sell it. <sighs> there's just a lot going on. I'm gonna switch directions of my walk. For some reason, I, I don't, maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I'll keep going. So, yeah. Can I look down at the camera and be like, this is how I'm gonna talk to you guys today. Can you see up at the sky? Um, so there's a lot going on for us. Uh, I hate like these videos, like being all rambling, but I owed you guys some explanations. I've been deep in just trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Like, this is different than the first time we took off. This feels like very, uh, there's a like uncertainty around it. There's a lot of excitement around it, but um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling all types of things. And how do you prepare for nomadic life? I don't, I don't freaking know. You get rid of everything. You book your first set of tickets, your first Airbnb, and then you have to like, just take it as it go. You have to, you have to go with the flow. You have to be ready for changes. You have to be ready for things to go wrong. So let me say that one again. Ready for things to go wrong. Like putting in your dates on your plane tickets, on non-refundable tickets like I did recently. I normally don't book round trip, but I did this time. And instead of putting September 15th as our return date, six weeks after flying to Mexico, I put August 15th and instead of United working with me, I had to buy new return tickets, which was a $600 in addition to what I already paid, mistake. So, lessons learned. attract anything I desire. What I desire, which is aligned with my spirit, is already here. I can attract anything I desire into my life. Abundance is a state of mind. It already exists. The experience I desire and all that I want to attract into my life are not in some far off distant land. Instead, all that I want is already here for me. Life is magnificent, exceptional, and miraculous. I just have to reach out and grasp it. I dresser in hopes that you guys can hear me over my 
neighbor's cat recording that goes off every 30 minutes just to drive me insane. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been up to many things while here in the US, wrapping things up here in Austin, Texas. Um, I've been enjoying, you know, a lot of people are like, why did you move back to the US? Why are you leaving now? Like, how dare you move back to the US when you talk so much about the benefits of living abroad and travel? My little one's trying to sneak in. Are you sneaking in? Go shut the door. I still agree with everything I've said in the past, but part of my heart is here in Austin, Texas. Part of my heart will be staying in Austin, Texas. One of my teens will actually be staying behind as kind of like a study abroad in the US with a friend of mine so she can try out traditional public high school. Um, no, thank you. I don't want this raisin, but I appreciate you sharing it with me. Um, mommy's talking to YouTube fam. So yeah, like one of my daughters will be staying behind. I'm gonna have to edit this to cut down all my talking. Ah, ah, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, and my heart is like excited for her and heartbroken at the same time. So there's a lot of shifts for us happening as a family. We haven't been separated since they were like little and I was in the military since my oldest two were babies. And I don't know how the next six months, I'm actively designing my freedom life. Freedom life is different for everyone. Actually, I have created an entire eight-week group coaching program called Freedom Life by Design, launching August 9th. Early bird pricing is ending soon, so check out the details below in the description because you're going to you're going to want to know all about that amazing program. But I am actively designing my freedom life. Can you guys see me? And my freedom life right now is having a home that I absolutely love in Austin which I don't have currently, finding a villa of some sort in Merida where I can host high-end retreats, where I can jet off when I'm needing like weeks of relaxation, weeks of being in the create creation mode where I can just go and get away and create and all the other kind of stuff. So yeah, I have to try on the freedom life that I'm wanting to create to make sure that's exactly what I want. So that's basically what we're doing. We're going to be splitting our time between Austin, between Merida, and travel in between. Oh my gosh, the amount of flights flying out this morning above me are wild. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to design this freedom life. I'm excited to head out on this adventure. And y'all, I'm also scared shitless at times. Um, seriously, it's scary. Um, and I believe that there's so much power, there's so much magic in pushing past that fear and going for what you desire no matter what. What a lot of people don't even know is I'm terrified of flying. I have to use my um, tools that I'm trained in all the time in order to not have that fear when I get on the flight. So yeah, I'm excited to take you guys along on this journey of really designing my freedom life. <laughs> on a little date to Gloria's restaurant at the Domain uh, before I go to Salsa Bachata lessons tonight and take you guys along.
a beautiful evening. Tuesdays are my favorite night of the week because I go and dance bachata salsa at Inspired Movement. My dog's like walking around right now. It was a beautiful evening. Um, I had so much fun bringing you guys along. I didn't get a lot of video because I was just enjoying myself dancing, but I owe you guys an explanation. I promised that I would tell you why. Olivia, come here why we are going um nomadic life instead of actually moving to a place and there's many reasons one i think i already stated earlier that one of my daughters will be staying behind we're trying that out um that's not something we've done before um but we're giving it a try and then my dog is literally just walking around hold on <laughs> You can hear my dog under my bed eating up something that she's not supposed to be eating up um, while like, getting a speaker throwing it at y'all. So yeah, one of my daughters will be staying behind and we don't know how that's going to look. Um, I have a lot of trainings that are going to require me to be in Austin through December. So just off and on through December that I'm going to have to fly back on. And really my love my other love married in mexico right they just keep getting locked down and i'm not one person this isn't to get on a debate on youtube but i don't agree with locking down i love the freedom i have here and you can hear her under the bed here in texas where it's free i can take my kids out i don't have to worry about park shutting down or everything shutting down and limitations and all this stuff whereas in merida it seems to be and i won't know till i actually get there that it's still going back to like it goes open and then heavy restrictions and i just am trying to avoid any type of heavy restrictions i just won't put my family through that again we did it for eight months in merida it killed a lot of the magic for us but when i went back it was open and i had such a good time when i went for my solo trip which i showed you guys i think or maybe i didn't i don't even know and um yeah and i'm hoping for that but from what i'm hearing they've actually locked down quite a bit again and I'm just, I'm just not down with it. So we are going to just explore a little bit. We haven't traveled a lot in a long time and I would love to get out to Colombia. I'd love to get out to Peru. I would love to get to Europe, but it all just, we have to take it as it comes because we don't know, like places open, places shut. There's different requirements. There's just so much that goes into it. So yeah, that's why we are choosing nomadic for the next probably about I'm hoping no more than six months but we started off our nomadic journey last time and it was like two and a half years later and we were still doing nomadic before we actually moved abroad so yes doggy so yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I know it was me talking a bunch but I wanted to get something out there to you guys totally un edited pretty much unfiltered no makeup type blog vlog um because i want to keep you guys updated on this journey of what's happening we're gonna be just lots of adventures lots of stuff but i wanted to show you guys like it's also not all butterflies and rainbows there's stuff that there's stress there's everything that comes with it but i promise if you just take that step forward take action it is so worth it just go for it